Hi Cancer, it's Elle here to do your weekly reading. This will go from February 16th through the 22nd. Uh, thank you for being here. Um, okay, Cancer, so you're weak. So some of you, so this is typical Cancer, okay. Um, the cards are telling you that you cannot live in the past. You have to live in the here and the now. You have to understand that your life is changing or you need to make significant changes. A lifestyle change. Hmm. It could be surrounding love affairs or just drama altogether. Um, being childish or childlike behavior. You could be dealing with a Gemini. If not, you could be dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. It's like you're at a crossroads in regards to making a decision. But you're hesitating before making that decision because it will cause hurt, grief, some pain either for you or the other party. So you're hesitating before you do it. Before you completely cut this person out or off. Um, also, there may be a child involved. If there was or is someone who just refused to do right and grow up and move, you know, just take the relationship to the next level, or you feel like you couldn't do that with this person, or you can't do it with this person, it's like something new or someone new has sparked a flame or a fire in you in regards to what you feel like would make you most happiest or if you could have a family if you can have a real life if you can have something to actually live for or gravitate to or to to actually establish roots with or you get you feel like you can get long-term goals fulfilled here or there will be recognition in in regards to um what you have accomplished or what you can accomplish with this new person but there is still blockage in regards to you not making a decision to cut away cut out be done with maybe the games if not a particular person maybe done with you know um the in and out the the the, the turnstile life you know this person this week this person next week the cards are asking you to make a judgment call here. Yet it says you cannot live in the past. You're gonna have to make a decision. You're gonna make a. You're gonna have to make a decision here in regards to what it is you really want. Why is my my right ear is itching? Ugh. Um. Yeah. Oh, somebody is talking about me. Somebody's talking. It's good things. It's the right ear. Oh, okay, okay. Who is it? Is he single? No. <laughs> okay, back to cancer. Um. So this is decision. This is hesitation before making the decision to actually go into newness. Actually go into something that. Like you, you, the tens are about completion. So it's like having what it is you really want. The ten of cups is about family, abundance, uh, happiness, life, fulfillment, like truth, like being as happy as you can be. This is typically nicknamed the highest level, the highest, highest of happiness. But some of you are still stuck in the past with a particular person, maybe a water sign or a fire sign. The advice this week is the Ace of Swords and the Six of Water is to, so we know that sometimes it's a double-edged sword. So it's the, the newness and cutting out the old. You can't get newness without cutting out the old. So you're going, and it's, it's victory here. It's what you want. It's, it's what you you desire, but it's not going to come without challenge. So the Ace of Swords is, is simply 
it's a challenging new beginning okay there's a challenge to this and that is cutting out cutting away not you don't want to be done with this particular way of life or way of being or person because on some level it brought you some fulfillment um you know that you you're going to hurt someone or or you you're afraid of getting hurt actually putting all of your eggs in one basket it says that you might have to so you need to analyze this is this is cancer altogether six of water you need to analyze the data analyze where you are in regards to your life and what you want where sense of service uh, where are you most useful where do you find peace where do you find equilibrium balance this could also talk about cutting someone out that you have a significant history with you may be over romanticizing the past with a particular person a particular being state of being the advice is for you to you got to cut through that and see what is real and what is fake yeah you're gonna the advice is for you to be at a place of once again evaluation um take a step back from the situation and look at it is do you really want this do you really want this person do you really want this is removing yourself from just the the doing the constant turnover turnstile life the constant take yourself away from that separate yourself the nines are about separation and look how she's looking at those stars that are on fire something's on fire something is hot it's burdensome it's um she's evaluating do i really want this do i want that do i want this what do i want In the playing cards deck this is how this is why this makes me think of it's like oh and then there's new okay because in the playing cards deck this is the new boyfriend or the new girlfriend this is the secret admirer some of you are admiring someone from afar maybe someone from your past you want to have a conversation with them you are this week letting go of old things um letting you may be missing someone wanting to reach out uh, or some of you are hesitating before making some decision to cut out cut off um, all while still wanting to reach out to someone who you desire who you have a lot of passion for could be a fire sign Aries Sagittarius Leo Sun Moon Rising could be an air sign Gemini Libra Aquarius could be anybody here well we have water and fire Wow, and air. Yeah, water, fire, air. So, um, it's going to be different for everybody. Some of you, it's like you're playing two fields, you know, or when you have the intention of cutting out or cutting off someone, but it has not happened just yet. Some of you, you're, you're admiring, romanticizing. A, a person place or a state of being um you're admiring someone from afar you want to speak to them you want to have a new start with them you understand that it's going to be challenging but you want this um it's a double-edged sword cutting out something old to go to something new almost like taking a leap of faith you don't know what's going to happen here but you know you want newness uh you can't play both sides um in regards to just not knowing if this person will take to your offer so you you play both sides that's that's unfair um, somebody have a child or someone and give a family with someone you don't want that anymore you there's somebody new here there's somebody hot there's somebody this there's somebody that um you know they're everything to you you know they Hmm. 
the so the advice is going to be different for some of you. The advice is just really speaking your truth, standing in your truth, whatever that may be. And you may the outcome to this week is the Knight of Swords. So this is finding creative solutions to problems, to issues, to going to someone and speaking exactly how you feel about them, about the situation in its entirety, about what you're going to do and what this causes and what, you know, all these different moving parts. It's about acting fast also. Um, some of you feel like you're losing someone or, or you're lo you've lost someone. Um, they're not, you know, um, wanting to stick around or they don't want to have you around. Some of you is just all together needing to make a judgment call. Yeah. In regards to some relationship of marriage. Some historical problems just keep coming up because you haven't dealt with the problems. You the both of you just kind of mask it over or a lot of passion happens. Um um, a lot of, uh, you know, okay, well, we'll just, you know, stay together or whatnot. But when you don't deal with the root of the issue, the, then it's still there. Some of you want an ex back. Well, you know, the term is, you know, they're an ex for a reason. If the reason hasn't changed, then it's just going to be, you know, a new day with old shit. So you need to really think about judgment call make a judgment call what do you really want don't be in and out don't be hot and cold let's see what the shelves have to say business okay I'm hearing somebody could be in your business or you want to be in somebody else's business gossip yep then I said somebody's somebody's in the business and someone is gossiping someone is um, looking in on someone from afar Let's see. Spiritual. Okay. So someone may be looking in on someone spiritually. Like you, you guys have a connection. You can, you just know. Or someone could be getting tarot card readings done on you or about you or vice versa. You're doing this for someone else. Um, we have a spiritual connection with someone. So you feel like you, you can feel it almost ending or you can feel that you need to come back towards them you may be talking with other people that know them and they may be telling their business to you or vice versa someone's talking to someone that knows you and they're telling your business to them um it's whatever it is it's making you act this week you're gonna have to take action here some of you this is in a business there's a lot of gossip surrounding what is happening here uh, in, your, in your business or a business you work for there's a lot of gossip a lot of chatter um, someone's trying to figure you out or figure out the business of you or what you do or somehow you know that that energy is arising some of you you just have a connection somebody's gossiping about you Some of you have to make a decision about children or, or a child. Someone spiritually connected to you and you feel like, and they feel like they can feel you just, you know, pulling away, not wanting them. you you do something drastic in order to get somebody back or vice versa they're doing this in regards to you or you come up with some creative solution in order to keep someone or keep them in your circle in your midst you feel that they're done with putting energy into this or vice versa. This is how someone feels about you. They feel like you know that. Well, they feel like they know that you're done with them. So it's like 
well, let me run over here and say a lot of stuff. I may even do something that pulls this person back. We only have one major arcana. So this week is really up to you in regards to what you want to do. Who do you want? What is this about? People being in your business, gossiping around business. Some of you have a spiritual connection to someone or or, or some connection. Some This is about newness. Some new person is very spiritual or there's like um, a level of spirituality about them or they they bring out spirituality within you um it could be anybody i'm saying the king of air it could be gemini libra aquarius typically that's libra or aquarius some of you have to make a decision about this relationship um that once again a lot of gossip surrounding this marriage or this uh relationship yeah about divorce about somebody moving on it could be you cancer Mm -hmm. You feel like you're at the end of your of the road here. Some of you have a spiritual union. Like it's not that you went down to the courthouse and got married. Okay, Cancer. This week is going to be one of a lot of emotion. Okay, so if you feel like this reading resonated with you, go over to the website and book your own reading there or take advantage of the text question you can text a question or two to the number below do keep in mind it is a business line so there are business hours okay uh the text question just makes you more uh well makes me more accessible to you and you accessible to me um text your question you can pay for your question all on your mobile device receive the answer to your question on your mobile device take advantage of that thank you Take care, Cancer. Have a really good week. Remember to stay in prayer. I'm praying for you. Pray for me as well. Take care.